Hey there, my name is Andrew and this is a day in my life as a digital marketing manager and entrepreneur. Juggling a high level corporate job and business on the side is extremely time consuming and oftentimes very stressful. So I want to give you a glimpse into what this looked like. I actually left the corporate life a few months ago to pursue my passion of building online businesses. So the following is a collection of footage a few months back. And no, <laughs> my day definitely does not include the view you're looking at now. This is me traveling at the moment. So let's rewind back. I wake up at 6 a.m., hopefully on the right side of bed. The absolute first thing I do is always make my bed. As William McRaven said, if you want to change the world, start off by making your bed. The next thing I do before I brush my teeth is fit in 20 push-ups. This helps wake up my body, get the blood flowing, and also helps start the day off right by giving me a sense of accomplishment. Within two minutes of waking up, I've already technically accomplished two things. I highly recommend implementing these two quick tasks into your morning routine if you haven't already. From here, I then brush my teeth and wash my face. I spend the next 15 minutes journaling and then meditating. I use the five minute journal to efficiently jot down my three things I'm grateful for today, three things that would make today great, and a daily affirmation to wrap it all up. Starting the day with gratitude has been such a positive change. Being able to easily frame my mind in a positive light, reminding me of what is important and humbling myself daily. You don't need to buy an expensive or fancy journal to do the same. I recommend implementing this into your daily routine starting tomorrow with just a spare notebook or piece of paper. We'll come back to the rest of this journal later tonight. To seal the affirmations and positive thoughts, I spend another 10 minutes meditating on my balcony and really soaking in the morning air before getting right into it. I recently cut out coffee from my diet, so I find pure matcha tea to be soothing and healthy replacement. Here I'm using a 100 prong bamboo whisk, bamboo scoop, traditional matcha bowl and Haruna T2 matcha. I start by warming the bowl with water, mixing in the matcha powder with a little water at 80 degrees and mixing with the bamboo whisk in full circles until fine. And then I pour in more water at 80 degrees until the bowl is 3 quarters full. The next step is to continue whisking in quick W motions to produce that foam on top of the matcha. Yes, this is a pedantic way of making a tea, but again, it's a small ritual I enjoy and look forward to. Plus, it tastes great. At this point, it's around 6.30 a.m. I'm still in my PJs and I spent a solid hour or so in my home office. I always try to fit in this time to work on my side hustles before heading out the door and focusing on my 9 to 5 corporate role as a digital marketing manager. I run several businesses which I won't get into detail on in this video, but if you're interested in the side hustles I've built or if you're interested in starting a side hustle yourself, then you may want to check out the videos on my channel after this video. Within the hour, I am typically doing high level tasks that don't require large chunks of my time and this means replying to emails, replying to my students and at this point, it's usually really hard to peel me off my desk to get ready for work because to be honest, I'm so in the flow when I'm working in my own business and having a blast but it's 7.30am now so it's finally time to get ready for work. I take the train into work and during this time I spend the time reading, following up tasks for my business or just getting ready for the day ahead at work. I aim to get to the office at 8.30am, I like to get into the office earlier so I'm able to get on top of my workload and get out on time. I work as a senior digital marketing manager at a boutique marketing agency. If you want to learn more about the gig, let me know in the comments below. It's a pretty neat place, check it out. get free breakfast so naturally the first thing I do is make myself breakfast, say hi to colleagues before the headphones go on and it's go time. I spend the first 30 minutes going through emails, checking my calendar as you can see for the day and making a prioritized to-do list. My role is extremely demanding and we often juggle countless large digital marketing campaigns so being organized and prioritizing work is vital. 
As you can probably tell, I love marketing and getting immediate results from our efforts. So checking in and optimizing ads is extremely rewarding to me. I also get to work with large media companies directly such as Google and Facebook which you'll see later in this video and I might be biased but a career in digital marketing is extremely rewarding for those wanting to work in corporate 9 to 5. So as part of my role there are a lot of client meetings both over the phone and face to face. So usually I get these out of the way in the morning. Today I have a couple scheduled over the phone. After the meetings, I'm back at my desk replying to more emails, working on projects, and basically putting out fires and keeping clients happy by consistently producing a strong return on ad spend across all their digital marketing platforms. And it's finally 12 p.m. I usually have lunch at my desk while I continue working or reading industry news. I'm not the biggest fan of eating lunch at a work desk, but I do this so I can cram in an hour long gym session. I find when I don't go to the gym on a work day, I get really itchy and fatigued. Going to the gym really helps break up intense days and leaves me feeling refreshed. Okay, so that's enough bad kicking for a day. Now I spend another solid hour actioning tasks or working on projects, also leaving time to reply to emails. My inbox often fills up really fast. So again, prioritization is so important. Today, I only have about two hours before a seminar hosted at the Facebook Sydney office. So I'm just finishing up this meeting, setting up a digital campaign, and then hurrying out to get to the seminar. Every six months, we sort of retail the strategy um, in this document. He's just asked me what's the best process when it comes to Facebook and LinkedIn. And I believe I looped you into that email. I just went back to him with a step-by-step -step process. So we're just waiting, waiting for that. Cool. Just finished the meeting and ran for an hour and a half, which is longer than usual, but it's very productive. And I'm just gonna stay in this room for a little bit longer and just work on setting up some digital platforms, as you can see here. We're now on our way to the Facebook office. I personally love trips to both Facebook and Google offices as it's a great opportunity to be the first to market when it comes to changes to the platform, which gives us a big advantage. It's also great being at the forefront because I can apply the learnings to my business and share it with you guys first. Also, it's a great way to network, snag up goodies, food, and of course, free booze. Okie dokie, back at the office now to wrap up the day. I usually spend more time replying to client emails and managing campaigns and projects. You can probably start to see a trend by now, but today it looks like my colleagues have a different idea. Working at a digital marketing agency, we work hard and play hard. We'll go out after work, game together, and of course, we even play beer pong. And it's safe to say, it gets pretty rowdy. Unfortunately, I have to cut the night short and head home to work on my side hustles. On the way home, I enjoy catching up on some light reading, and today I'm reading Ray Dalio's Principles. So I just got home, I showered, and as you can tell, it's been a pretty hectic day so far, and I'm gonna go, now go cook and take this time to sort of unwind a little bit before I get stuck back into it. But uh, yeah, let's go start cooking. Tonight, we're making a simple yet delicious chicken thigh and vegetable curry. Chop up leftover veggies, fresh chicken thighs, add in a few tablespoons of your favorite curry paste and coconut cream, and that's a quick, affordable dinner ready to go. Usually I unwind a little during dinner before getting stuck into the third and final round of work. At this point, I'm pretty exhausted, but it's these hours that define my success. 
I work usually all the way up until midnight or even later and this is the time I do the bulk of my work. Usually I'm bulk editing YouTube videos, even filming videos, managing any business fires, replying to emails and fulfilling online orders received for the day with my VAs. I then jot down notes in my productivity notebook to keep tabs on my workload for tomorrow morning and the week ahead. Oh man, so it's about, it's already past midnight at this point and I am clocked how I'm done at the moment. So it's been a pretty hectic day. Obviously not every single day is like the one that you see today, um, but it, the rough schedule is about the same. So I hope you do, I hope you did enjoy this day in my life. And as you can tell, running a business or side hustle while working a full-time, particularly stressful full-time job is not easy. Um, so if you're doing the same thing, please let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, if you enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content like this. And um, yeah, I'll see you in the next few videos. Otherwise, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next few videos. See ya.